Hey lovelies, back with another video. This is a protective style that I've labeled the princess twist or the halo twist, whichever you want to call it. And right now I'm spraying my hair with a mixture of water and dove conditioner before I detangle this madness. And this is my hair after it's been in a bun, after uh, an old braid out. So that's why it's kind of sticking up like that. And you guys already know to comb from the ends to the roots because if you don't, you might be bald. Don't want to be bald. <laughs> and I've got, I've bought a tangle tease. I'm going to try that out. And hopefully that I'll make this process a lot faster. And I'm a little juiced, as you can tell. So after I get the tangle teaser, I'll make a video on it. But after I do that, I make a little baby part in the front. I like mine shaped like a crescent. You don't have to do that. But after I make my little baby crescent part, I put some Cantu Shea Butter Creamy Leave-In leave -in Conditioner. And then after that, I put in the Indian Hemp Moisturizing Lotion, or Custard, or whatever the TV you want to call it. Um, after I've detangled my hair, and when I start twisting, I make a little baby part in the front, because if it's not like that, I don't find that it gives me the result that I want. And as I'm twisting, I'm grabbing hair from the middle. And as I approach the back, I change the positions of my hands because it gets a little more difficult to twist in the back. And this is a style that I do at the end of a braid out after it's been a few days old and it's getting old and tired and it's not quite wash day so I put this in because it takes like 10 minutes and I could put this in before I get dressed or the night before so I don't look like Don King the next day but after I finish twisting it I roll it around in a circle and I bobby pin it in my head. After that, I check to make sure everything's in place, nothing's sticking out, I didn't miss any parts, and then I gel down my edges and I find that I get the best results when I wet my edges with some liquid leave-in before I gel them down. That's what I'm doing. And then you gotta get the little nappa leaves in the back too after you get the front. That middle part, I didn't mean to flip you guys off. <laughs> But um, that middle part always tends to stick up, so I gel that down and not bobby pin it. And here's a trick, if you have broken edges or they're uneven around the edges, get a big thick shoelace, old shoelace that you washed, not a dirty one, tie it pretty tight and then slide it back so that your edges lay down like a baby. But yeah, after that, I go to sleep. This is the next day, or after you've got finished getting dressed. This is the second day. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll have more protective styles for you. Don't forget to subscribe and stay snazzy.